I am persistent. We are persistent. I pray with persistence. I persistently pray. My prayers are persistent. I am persistently prayerful. I am full of praise persistently. I am a persistent praise. I praise the Lord persistently. I praise Him to no end. My praise never ends. My praise to my Lord is everlasting, to infinity and beyond. I am praising the Lord forever. Father, thank you for the incredible gift of prayer. Prayer, thank you for allowing us to connect to God. I am connected to God. We are connected to God. We stay connected to God. God is our connection to our dreams and visions. God connects to our goals and aspirations. God is the connection to heaven and earth. We are praying. We are pouring out our heart to our creator. We know God hears us. Thank you for your great power and blessings. They are coming. Great power and blessings are coming from our regular persistent prayers. We are regular persistent prayers. We pray regularly with persistence. We persist in our prayers. Our persistent prayers spring forth our persistent dreams and visions that spring forth our persistent creativity that springs forth life. The more we create our abundance, the more abundance we see. God listens to us. He keeps score. He has to keep score because he is so merciful. He only lives in the present. So he records each present word we speak and action we take towards our dreams and desires. He awards us with his goodness. It's his law, the law of attraction. The more good we put into the atmosphere by word and deed, the more he sends back to us. But there's a catch. We have to find him for ourselves. First, we have to accept him for ourselves. Once we accept him and build our own relationship with him, our way between us and him, he will do whatever our heart desires. It has to come from the heart though. It has to come from love for self and others. All he wants is us to worship him, not his creations. He does, however, want us to love and respect his creations. He wants us to love to have good relationship with his creations. We are all his creation. Like any father, he wants his family unified. We now know our prayers are answered. We are encouraged for we know that for every no, God has a better yes. For every closed door, God has a better open door. For every rejection, God gives us better receptions. We bring our every request to God. We take our every request to Papa. We present our every request to Him. We lay our every request at His feet. We keep requesting to God for His kingdom work through us. And we trust Him to do our request His way. His ways are not our ways. Our ways are small compared to His divine ways. God, we are praising You all our days. Our prayers are powerful. Our prayers are effective. Our prayers are effective, affecting our entire being, affecting our homes and communities, affecting the world. Our prayers are affecting the universe, affecting universal change now. Father, thank you for moving us. Thank you for working for us. We now pray in faith. We pray with faith. Faith, thank you for being present in our life. We have faith. Faith resides inside us now. We keep praying. We may not see results yet, but we keep praying because now we know results are coming. Results, thank you for coming to us. Results, we invite you to manifest good results in our world. We allow you to manifest God's results. We are now receiving all the good results God has for us. Good things are resulting right now. We are now unlocking profound blessings beyond our wildest imagination. Answers, thank you for flowing to us at the right time, God's time. Father, thank you for seeing the full picture in the grand scheme of things. 
Thank you for knowing exactly what we need when we need it. Our persistent prayers are the key. Our persistent prayers are the key we are using. We are unlocking priceless treasures. We are unlocking custom designed gifts specifically for us. Gifts that God designed for us. We are faithfully using our prayer and our prayers are swinging doors wide open. Blessings are revealing. We are receiving all the blessings and gifts that have been waiting for us to unlock them with our prayers. We are unlocking healing from disease. We are unlocking relationship reconciliation. We are unlocking provision. God is providing all our resources. God is providing all our needs. Father, thank you for storing up your countless blessings for us, your children. We are now receiving all the countless blessings God has for us. We can't count them. There's so many. We are drowning in God's overflowing abundance. We are letting the overflowing drown us in God's love. We are resurrected in God's love right now. We are devoted. We are devoted to ourself and our prayer life. Our time is meaningful. We are spending our meaningful time praying to our God every day. Every day we mean to pray. Every day we pray for what we mean for our life and those connected to us. Father, thank you for stirring my gifts up inside me. Thank you for talents I never knew I had. They are emerging and we are allowing them to emerge. We are receiving the merging of our talents and gifts in the name of Jesus. The truth is the best is coming. The truth is the best is already here. We are receiving the best. The truth is we perceive the best that we want to see. The truth is whatever you persistently think your best to be, you already are. We release the disappointments and doubts to you, Father. We are devoted to our relationship with you. We cultivate our relationship with you daily. We trust our relationship with you. We expect that God is always putting back into our relationship. What he gets out of it. If you give him no time, you can't expect him to give you his time of day. Father, thank you for your divine surprises. We are looking for you to surprise us in divine timing, divine ways. Thank you for revealing eternal treasures, gifts of overflowing revival and heavenly breakthroughs. They are crashing in, flooding all our dry places. Father, thank you for moving for us. We are praying to you. Angels and spirit team, thank you for praying for us to encounter God's power, his grace. We are praying persistently. We are devoting our time talking to God. We now know that delays are for our benefit. We release control and we pray. Praying is our full-time job now. We are now faithfully believing that our God hears our every prayer and we know he responds. We now live expecting his response. He responds in everything around us. This is an activation. Our third eye and physical eyes are now cleared. They are upgraded and activated to their newest version. We now see with the eyes of the Jesus inside us. We now see what is unseen by man with the eyes of the Jesus inside us. We see with clarity, she walks with us and guides us. We see with discernment, he leads and directs us. We see with love, compassion, understanding and wisdom. They are God's hearts. Unimaginable blessings are unlocked right now. Our spirit's gifts are revealing. They're bubbling up and we are allowing our spiritual gifts to overtake us right now. We are rewarded. We seek our Father with diligence and prayer. Diligence, thank you for helping us seek Papa with prayer. Dreams are stirring up. Our talents are stirring up. They are now awakened. Our visions are stirred up. They are now being revealed. Father, thank you for blessing us to be blessings. Thank you for the power of covering. I pray to you to cover myself and the collective attached to me. Gifts are releasing into the atmosphere. We are patient. We release doubts and distractions. Father, thank you for pouring out more than we imagine. Thank you for flooding us with your presence. It is confirmed. We are now receiving divine blessings. 
We are now receiving tailored revelations, unique for only us. Our glorious kingdom purpose is now awakened within us. We are tenacious for God. We are persevering prayers for his kingdom. Our eyes are fixed on what man cannot see. We see the invisible. We hear the invisible. We perceive invisible. We perceive what's not tangible to others right now. Because peace is within us now. <laughs>